So hello everybody! Yes, today another short video tutorial and today is more gaming theme video tutorial. Let's say few games like Mafia 2, like Flatout uh, 4 and several others. Simply you need to have Xbox controller so you can play these games. But I do not have it and I have my Trusty steering wheel, Logitech, uh, vibration feedback wheel. And today I will be talking about how to trick your game to think that you are using Xbox controller, not wheel. For this I will be using this tool Tokka Edit Xbox 360 controller emulator. That is all practically old application, but it still works. Tested on Windows 10, works like a charm. Okay, so for today I will be using Mafia 2 for demonstration. Before I show you all this stuff, how to do this, don't forget to subscribe and click bell icon so you get notified about new videos that I put on. Don't forget to give thumbs up if you like the video, if you do not like, you know, thumbs down and share with others so others can learn to end. And let's start. So, very first thing is to download this tool. First we need to get to this website www.x360ce.com or inside your favorite search engine just type x360ce, press enter and you should see amongst first results this web page. But I already have it so I do not need to click it. Ok, next step is to download the emulator, but remember, here we can download for 32-bit version of the game and for 64-bit version of the game, that is two different applications. So before we download, we need to determine which version of game we have. Simply, it is not hard at all. Before I run this Mafia 2 game to determine, we will open up Task Manager, as I see over here. So, when I open up Mafia 2 game, or whatever game you want to process for emulator, I will just click Alt-Tab on the keyboard together, so I get better back to the desktop, and just I will search for Mafia 2 or whatever game you open. And we see Mafia 2 application, 32-bit version. Uh, don't be confused, this is in Slovenian language, all the text, because this is Slovenian version of the operating system, but I will be <laughs> translating on the way. So here we have 32-bit version. Let's say uh, OBS Studio with the, this application I am recording all this now, it is 64-bit, because there is no brackets for 32-bit. But remember, if you have 32-bit operating system, Windows 10 or whatever Windows you have, then you will ne not see any brackets at all. So you can run only 32-bit version of the applications. Ok, we done this, we know. So next is just to close this game and just to download this tool, this emulator. To download it, I will just click this for 32-bit games download button. I will save it on the desktop, you can save it wherever you want. And when it is downloaded, I will just minimize this window and here it is. First thing is to extract what is inside this archive uh, archives file.zip. 
to do this it is very easy. You can use this internal extraction program of Windows 10. In my case I will use 7-zip program that I already installed previously. And I will just extract here. And basically this is the application that I need. This application, this file, you need to copy to every single game folder where the game starts if you want to use it. So, in my case, I already prepared here, Mafia 2 is over here, local DC, uh, program files x86, Steam, Steam apps, common, Mafia 2 PC. In your case, this path can be different, but don't worry, just find the uh, path for PC and that you will see mafia2.x. Okay, now I will just move it over here. I can copy it, but I will just move it. And let's say, let's just make a shortcut to the desktop. Because whenever you run the game, before you run, you need to open this application. When you are first time running this game, this, I mean, this tool, first let's open it and you will see if the window, this is the main window of this application, emulator, and that is a window that has some error. Don't worry, just click create button, wait a little bit and search for automatically for settings because this program automatically de detected that I have this steering wheel Logitech. Just click next, just click finish. Okay, that is done. Next, what we need to do is just to press auto. You can manually uh, set all this stuff over here, but it is way easier to click auto and confirm to click auto by clicking yes and all this stuff is here so here it is here is my steering wheel and now when i start pressing the buttons you see when i press the button this button lights up over here and as you see left right right left okay and here it is the problem the acceleration and brake is these two buttons over here, that is trigger and trigger. So now I need to adjust these settings. It is very easy. Just press this arrow button icon near the first trigger and click record. Um, and immediately when you click record, just press brake pedal. And here it is. That is brake pedal. And under the trigger, click this button, click record, and just type and just click uh, acceleration trigger. Under sticks, access epsilon, because the, this I already used for brake, we need to remove it. Just click, again, this button arrow, click empty, and that's it. So, now let's try if it works. And as you see, I am inside this game. So, let's see. Brake, accelerating, that works. Le right, left, it works. Buttons, work. That is basically it. Uh, let's just close the game. And that is all you need to do. You can later on select all these buttons and adjust to your likings. And that's it. Well, another thing is that it is good if you go to Game Settings tab. Click Add. Go to the Mafia 2 folder. Select Mafia 2 Exa and open save and that's it that is all 
what you need to know for basic configuration of this program emulator. There is a lot of different stuff. Let's say under controller you can assign a lot of different stuff. Left thumb, right thumb, uh, force feedback, and so on. You know, there is a lot of stuff that you can set. And enjoy. So that was it for today. I hope you liked the video. For any questions, if you want to say hi, whatever, just type everything below this video in comment section. And until next time, have a nice time, have a nice time, have a blast, and see ya. Bye bye. If you have any questions, did not understand something, want to ask me something, want just to talk, just type everything in comment section below. Don't forget to like or dislike this video, subscribe to my channel so you get notified about new videos, share video with your friends, co-workers and others so they can learn too, and have a great day, bye bye!